Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Sid Meier's Colonization. Where the Dutch Atlantis, whatever you want to call it, is rising, definitely. Come to think of it, I probably should have called it that instead of New Netherlands. Now, oh well. We do have some very, very angry natives. <laughs> That's okay. They'll get over themselves in time. Uh, doesn't really matter. We're not gonna need more tobacconists. I think, I think we train all the ones we need. Uh, I'm not need them to go the other side there, but uh, grab the scout, why not? I'm not gonna use my money to train or buy more people, either. Custom house, get the warehouse expansion, make sure that they sell lumber. And I'd love to have more cargo trains, but or wagon trains, but I just can't. Because of the unit cap. Grr. And you can keep training farmers, that's fine. Actually, go out and make more food. Well, I suppose you can trade him. Actually, we do have a spare farmer there, so... <laughs> Farmers are worth four points. We have an education. Uh, there aren't anyone idle right now, so... Uh, fur trading post, most likely, yeah. Need to set up money. We're gonna spend a fair bit of money just buying these things, though. That's unfortunate, but I don't have the wagon trains to fully transport everything. I don't have the room for them. Uh, you finished that one, yeah? That's great. Uh... Yeah, sure. Just toss up the cathedral. Another thing, we did have 300 guns here and we're making 48 per turn that aren't going anywhere. I'm gonna do this. Hopefully I'll remember. Just as a safety valve sort of thing. You're headed down this way, you're gonna load up with the rest of the... Ah oh, darn it, no you can't escape, can you? Ah, two privateers now, awesome. Okay, we're gonna trade tobacco with you. Uh, yes! Tools and trade guns. Okay. Uh, none of this is gonna be valuable enough or cheap enough for us to care. Silver was at uh, 7 or something. So, never mind. Quarter, quarter of that just isn't anywhere near what you were about to offer us. New Amsterdam, because we have been trained. Right, you are headed to St. Martin's just in case. Um, though I probably will replace this guy instead. No, you're not, you're not going to stay here. 
think I'm gonna need to find somewhere else to put you. Though I have no idea where that would be. Suriname? Yeah, Suriname. That might work. Mm, Paraiba has finished there. Yeah, that's you finished the under tool uh, under undergrowth, whatever you want to call it, the city square. Excellent. New head to Blissingen, right? Because we're going to replace one of the farmers here. There you go. Uh, right, another excess one. Starting to, starting to have quite a few of them. Okay, uh, you guys are going to go to St. Martin's. Because there was a cathedral there. At least I vaguely, vaguely recall there being a cathedral there. Um, I don't need another one up here. I'm training one more. So if Aruba needs one, no, Aruba does not need more. Uh, Bonaire does not need any more. Fort Orange does not need any more. New Holland itself, same thing. Recif doesn't have that industry. Willemstadt then. Yeah, Willemstadt is gonna need at least two more, so... Slide towards there at least. Willemstadt, Paraiva and further in. Did I not put you inside the colony? Well then. We're gonna have lots and lots of peasant out, peasants out here. <laughs> and it irks me that they've put aside their differences. <laughs> and sending, so they're both sending privateers our way. And we have no way of defending ourselves, really. I suppose I could buy another frigate and see if I can get rid of them, but... Uh, the last frigate didn't have much to... Uh, yeah, <laughs> the last frigate didn't work all that well. Hey, what do you know? Okay, so that's... It was an English privateer! The one that, the one that has been harassing us. Okay. Train a farmer, and there aren't any more farmers to be trained. Or... Uh, Indian... Uh, free colonists to be trained. Oh, you'll be building. What will you be building? I think we'll toss up the expansion just so I have it. Then we have the all the buildings. Come on, slide in. Um, you know, I get that plastic expansion, so I'm. I want it, just in case I'm gonna have to be. Re just in case I need to go very far behind, far behind the, yeah, the front lines for horses. Ain't impossible. Now the fur trapper trained, which means I'm gonna kick one of you guys out. Food, food, and food. And what's worth more right now? Uh, probably the third, come to think of it, but... Uh, oh, well, that's okay. Uh, you're gonna train this guy. to keep and which squares not to keep. That is the question. I 
Grasslands. So what do I want to trade? Do I want more weavers or do I want more uh, cigars? We're probably gonna need more. All right, we have another team here. Never mind. Answer my own question here, really. I already trained the ones I wanted. Which means that I'm gonna be training cotton planters here next. Not for use in this town, but for use in the neighboring towns. That means clearing speciality. Send it to huh? Um. Sad thing about this is that's gonna start the town more or less. No, actually, it worked. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, I built the fire trading shop just in case. Uh, we're gonna build the armory. Don't particularly need it, but we, that at least gives us a spot to hide colonists in, if need be. Which we could do. I mean, again, the colonies themselves do have a much higher cap, than, which is 31, I think. So I could stuff and just keep growing colonists and stuff the colonies full for score. But at this point, I'm starting to lose patience. I think I need to start an independence war pretty soon. Because if I really wanted to go for a high score, I would have done something, like quite a few things differently. Especially, we would have tried to keep the uh, the yeah, keep the <laughs> keep the other Europeans from declaring their independence. Because I would have had to have cities all across the map anyway. So, run out of fur. Oh right, I just stuffed you guys up there to process. Um, that's okay, you can go over here and work on the rum. Uh, now, let's see, they wanted tools next, so trade with you. Thousand for tools, yes, by all means. Tobacco, trade goods, and rum would be a value. Sugar? Uh, no, not cheap enough. What do you want? Trade goods, rum, or cloth? They wanted rum, so I'm probably gonna see if they want to buy it. Willemstadt, you don't need to be chopping anything there. Actually, yes, you need to chop this. Per base plow that field. Uh, let's see. Yep, that one was going to be cleared as well. Chop, chop, chop. St. Martin. Almost done with that. Just need to improve this square. Yeah, the AIs are not fond of going up to us. Which is good. It's a darn, it's a darn good thing for us, but... Also kind of weird. Let's see, plains, prairie, that's a mixed forest square. So, I'd have more to gain by training, turning him into a fur. Fur dude, probably. Maybe. Back to New Amsterdam. I think I now have the troops I need. Two mobile units capable of fending off our enemy. I think I have like six or eight units in each of those, and that's going to be more than enough, especially if I combine that with everything I have within the colonies themselves. Um, Right, of course I can't stop more people there. Go up there. Process out those fur coats. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. We wanted some units in Wilhelmstadt. I was gonna go this direction anyway. And they did want rum, so let's try. Ooh. No. Uh, that was just a little too low. Mm, can I escape here? Answer is no. Back into town with you. Yeah, that was a little too low. I think I need to change the tactics here. I can't use two wagon trains for this. Okay, uh, one's gonna go back to Pernambuco and unload everything, really. The other one has to... Oh, yeah, whoops, you forgot the... Basket sales. I could do the same with horses. Just to get rid of the vast quantities of horses we currently have, but... Uh, the horses are going to be the first thing that we lose once we declare independence, so I do want to have... 300 in every single colony, if possible. And in every single boat. And having the spare guns isn't bad either. Mostly in our coastal colonies, I think. Bahia is the only coastal colony, I think, that doesn't have any guns. Currently. And of course, it's not. It doesn't hurt to have guns here either, just in case we come, suddenly come under heavy Indian attack. You never know. I mean, they could take vengeance on us at some point. The Apache, especially, should be very upset with this. Fine, get that tobacconist. I have no idea if we can actually use him, but that's okay. Rene what's it? has got another colony. Colonist. Train him into a farmer. I could definitely use some preachers, but... Oh well. Um... Yeah, fine. Completed. It is expensive, this, though. Not having the tools already pre-distributed. Pre Preachers are done here, and yeah, right, we're out of free colonists to train here. Out you go, then. Head to Pernambuco, you're gonna unload and just sell that stuff. I would love to move you out of there, but can I? No. And then there's you. Uh, you can not get into. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. You can get into Fort Orange without touching that privateer. So you do that. And you're an empty wagon train. Um. Head up to Fort Nassau, there's going to be a new load of guns there. Yeah, I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to get the guns out into the uh, coastal colonies. 
store up 300 each in all of them, and we also need to start distributing tools. Uh, speaking of Willemstadt, do you have access tools? You do, lovely. Go into Willemstadt, tool up. Did I fix Bonaire's bottom square? Town square, yeah, that's fixed. Not the Rubus. Ah, okay. Okay, so the Rubus bottom square, I need to go up and fix that. And we did fix that one. It's a keyboard, same thing. Ah. It's a keyboard and a Ruba. Um, let's wake you, so I don't want to wake a pioneer unless he has finished his task this turn. Uh, yeah, you're gonna work here. As are you. And Paraiba doesn't even have a single one. Yeah, he's gonna work here. If I can just click you, there we go. Right. Was it Utrecht? How oh, shipping you to? Yeah, I think it was. No, that's the one that's auto walking. That's fine. You have all the people you need for fur trading. Suriname. Uh, got one, so they're trading the other ones, that's fine. These other guys don't have enough forests. Hoboken already has theirs, which is trading another, another one. Okay, fine, both of you, Utrecht. So, there's an idle university down there, there's an idle university here. Now, if this one's idle, I think that's where you're gonna be. Um, dang it, we're gonna spoil some horses. Oh, that's okay. Clear your specialty. Because we're going to be making... We'll be making preachers. With all these new colonists from Earp. And yes, we are going to lose food. Um, switch you over to food. Let's see if I can remember to switch that back. <laughs> Let's see, that was a square that was going to be chopped. Chop, plant it, whatever you want. One extra preacher. I'm fairly certain it's a key, but only had two. Yes. So, there's a keyboard with you. And you were headed up to Bonaire. Right? Yes. My memory, it works somewhat. There we go. Occasionally it works. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a break here again, I think. We'll see if we can get a little bit closer next time. Thank you for watching.